So it's almost been a month of owning the 12 Pro Max. I got my leather case and I finally got my leather wallet. So let's roll the intro. What is good YouTube, it's your boy Xavier Ashton, AKA Ashton Royale, back here again with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Apple leather wallet. And if you watched my previous video of the 12 Pro Max case, I'll probably link that somewhere up here. You will know that I went for the brown wallet. Now you're probably looking at me like, so why you didn't just buy a normal wallet? But, so to answer that question, I hate having a lot of things on me. So this is the current wallet I'm using right now. It is a Coach Bifold card holder. Um, but the thing is out of all these cards, I only use three and it's perfect because this only holds three cards. Another thing is I hate carrying money. And the funny thing about that is that I'm carrying money right now, but usually I never carry money. And the thing with this is I just don't like how big it is. I wanted something smaller. Like I said, I only carry three cards. So the Apple wallet is perfect for that. And if I want, I could just snap it on the back of my phone, which I'm probably not. But you know, I have that feature to just smack it on the back of my phone. And I just have my phone and my wallet and that's just everything in one. Which on the flip side of that is bad because if I was to lose my phone, then I lose my wallet, my license, my credit cards, and you know, all that. But that's why I'm gonna keep them separate. So for the purpose of this video, I'd even open this myself. This is my first time opening it. So me and you guys are both gonna take a first look at it. Oh my God. And there you have it, the Apple wallet in that leather brown. And that is the back of the wallet, which is the magnetic side that would just fit on the back of your phone. Um, they already have like a little fake card in here. So you would just push and slide up and that card will come right out. So like I said, this fits about three cards. So let's just give it a test. So now just to inform you guys, it does fit three cards, but if you have a metal card or your card numbers are raised, they say you could probably fit only two just because the fact of the metal cards are thicker and the numbers make them, you know, that snug fit. So for the purpose of today's video, I'm using my debit card, my license, and my cash app. So I'm gonna put my debit card in first and I'm not even gonna front even you can see right there, like it's not coming out. So even with one card, it's not, I mean, it came out a little bit, but it's not coming out. That's just with one card. I'm gonna put my license next. Uh, so it's still not really going anywhere. The cards are still secured in there. And now for the cash app card. So, okay, yeah, that was more of a snug fit, yeah. So like I said before, three is the maximum of cards you could put in here. And as you could just see with those three flat cards, um, it's a tight fit. So if you have the metal or the raised numbers, um, it's probably not gonna fit three. And like in the beginning of the video, you just put your thumb right here to pop your cards up. It's easy to get all them right out and then you just put them all right back in. Okay, so now let's do this magnet test. Oh, that was kind of weak. Oh, maybe I didn't catch it right. Oh, there we go. Okay, much, much better. Okay, so that was my fault. I probably put in the wrong placement. So probably an Apple sign is better right there. Okay, so now I felt it. All right, so it's on there. I can't front. Um, I mean, you're still able to move it, but you really gotta move it. It's not going anywhere, basically. Like if I'm doing all of this, you see it's not moving. Can we just take the time real quick to appreciate that blue and brown? Like I said in my leather case video, bro, that blue and brown, I told you, you guys, it's just gonna look, it's gonna look sick together, bro. Okay, so I'm not even gonna front. This actually feels nice in the back of the phone. I probably will leave it on there. Like I felt like it would just be doing the most, like it will make the phone more bulky, but it actually still kind of has that slim profile. You know what I mean? So, okay, so I actually thought it would be nice if I actually show you guys like real life use of basically putting this in your pocket and taking it out and seeing if the wallet was gonna fall out. Because over the course of time, you know, magnets are not gonna be as strong as they once were when you first purchased the case in the wallet. So I thought it would be dope to just give you guys like a little test. So right now I'm wearing some PacSun jeans. These are the skinniest jeans I have, which they're actually labeled skinniest. So if you wear PacSun jeans, you know how skinny these are. And basically, um, as you could tell, bro, there's no problems right now with me putting this in my, uh, in my pocket. It's not moving, nothing like that. Nothing at all. Now, like I said, probably over the course of time, the magnets won't be as strong as they were before. So it'll probably like slide around and all this. But as of right now, bro, like this, this thing is on. 
so this is the wallet on the phone but the funny thing is i felt like i got better traction as you can see it didn't move on this but when i put it on the phone the wallet really is it moves so much more so i guess the magnet on the phone is weaker than the magnet in the case which actually makes sense so once again i guess we could do a real life view of you know me just putting the phone in my pocket with the wallet and uh still isn't moving uh, that one i moved it myself but you know still isn't moving so we're gearing towards the end of the video i just think it's funny that like we're going crazy over these mag safe accessories because they're pretty expensive like the wallet was 60 dollars um the leather case was 60 bucks that's 120 dollars just an accessory and the funny thing is like magsafe isn't even really that new of technology like i remember having a 2014 macbook pro and it had the magsafe charger so like they just implemented that technology into accessories so the technology was always there it just took them like six years to really do something with it but i mean you already know how apple is they always innovate late but it's still innovation which is so weird so that's really all for this video guys um if you made it to the end of the video thank you very much um don't forget to smack the hell out of that like button leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe it's your boy ashton royale and i'm signing out of here peace